Hello, I'm Scott Thompson and welcome to After 10. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon recently launched a global network designed to tackle some of the world's most pressing issues using sustainable development solutions. And in October, that network officially launched its Korean branch. On today's After 10, we are joined by the co-chair and director of SDS in Korea, Yang Soo Gil. Last month, the UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network launched its Korean branch, SDSN Korea. Major figures from a variety of fields, including Professor Jeffrey Sachs, Special Advisor to UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon, and Yi Hong Gu, former Prime Minister of Korea, joined the conference to celebrate the establishment of SDSN Korea. I am confident that the Korean people and the SDSN Korea will play a catalytic and leadership role in ushering in this new era and ensuring a life of dignity for all the world's people. SDSN, the Sustainable Development Solutions Network, aims to promote economic growth based on social equality and environmental sustainability. SDSN Korea will focus on finding ways to maintain a balance among economic development social integration, and environmental sustainability. It will also promote a creativity-based economic paradigm to supplement the shortcomings of the Green Growth Initiative. We're joined by Dr. Young Soo Gil, co-chair and director of SDSN Korea, who has been active in promoting low-carbon green growth to learn more about the future plans of SDSN Korea. Dr. Young, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you uh, for this opportunity. Now, the Sustainable Development Solutions Network officially launched here in Korea last month. Uh, before we get into the, de uh, the details of that, let's talk about Sustainable Development Solutions in general. What are they? Well, let me begin by saying that we, the uh, human race, are the children of uh, this planet. We reap, uh, build, and reap our human prosperity uh, from uh, uh, the uh, planetary resources and uh, in environment. And, but uh, with the continuing uh, population growth around the world, uh, the planet has become much overpopulated uh, by now. And all the nations, each nation trying to uh, produce more and consume more. In that process, uh, they uh, plunder the natural resources. Uh, uh, they produce uh, wastes and pollutions of uh, various kinds, uh, including uh, and worsen the environment, including the climate. But it's not just the environmental threats uh, uh, to the uh, to sustainable development, uh, socially speaking. Uh, at the international level, we have still one billion or so of people. Uh, living in extreme poverty, meaning uh, about you know one, uh, less than one dollar uh, of income per day. So these rising social inequalities and, and tensions uh, have come to uh, thro threaten the uh, governability of uh, individual uh, nations, uh, causing uh, social and political instabilities around the world. Uh, so that both environmentally and in terms of social development, uh, this world uh, seems to be on a trajectory uh, which is not uh, sustainable. In other words, this business as usual uh, trajectory uh, could come to an abrupt end uh, with catastrophic consequences. So that's why we need sustainable development and uh, correcting uh, this uh, path uh, toward a sustainable uh, development uh, is what this sustainable development is about. Now, these problems you laid out are, are very big problems, they're very real problems. Uh, and with solutions in mind, the SDSN was established by UN Secretary General Ban right, Ki-moon. Right. Tell us a bit about SDSN and what it aims to do. I should first establish the background by saying that uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has launched an intergovernmental uh, discussion and consultation and negotiation uh, process in order to uh, agree on a set of uh, sustainable development goals as well as post-2015 
uh, development goal uh, with which to implement those uh, sustainable development goals and the time horizon to be covered is the period between 2015 to 2030. So he uh, launched uh, a global uh, network of uh, uh, or global community of uh, science-minded experts uh, to uh, help uh, solve specific uh, problems uh, which stand in the way of achieving sustainable development. And he called that uh, network Sustainable Development Solutions Network. This SDSN uh, proposes uh, to uh, undertake uh, studies and uh, discussions and to collect uh, in uh, views and comments uh, from around the world uh, for the purpose of informing uh, the UN process as well as the Secretary General uh, Pan Gimon uh, himself uh, in setting the sustainable development goals, uh, the post-2015 development agenda, as well as uh, in implementing those goals and agenda after 2015. These are the goals, these are the collaborative efforts that are right, being undertaken right. right now. What specifically does STSN uh, the global network expect from Korea, SDSN Korea? We have uh, two roles to uh, fulfill. One is uh, to uh, help Korea overcome domestic challenges for sustainable uh, development. Korea has uh, recorded a marvelous, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we are well known for a very successful uh, high uh, economic uh, growth uh, uh, campaign for the previous uh, four to five uh, decades. But in recent years, we realized that that uh, single-minded pursuit of high growth uh, has uh, been uh, causing uh, increasing social inequal inequalities over the last uh, 10 to uh, 20 years. Uh, and the people's uh, level of satisfaction with the quality of life uh, is among the lowest in the OECD uh, circle of uh, uh, countries. So we have serious social challenges. And then uh, the environmental quality as a whole has been worsening uh, as a result of this uh, pursuit of successful pursuit of high economic uh, growth. Uh, so uh, uh, the SDS and Korea proposes to uh, help uh, the government uh, cope with these social problems as well as environmental problems. That's one thing. Uh, on, on the other front, Korea has a number of successful development experiences uh, which the uh, developing countries want Korea to share with them. Uh, so uh, we, we, so with our experiences uh, and with whatever financial and other uh, resources that uh, uh, we have, uh, we, uh, we think we owe it to the developing countries to help them uh, to, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, launch and sustain their uh, economic uh, developments, also reflecting upon the successes and failures of Korea's own records in terms of social and environmental uh, uh, development. And in particular, uh, we, uh, the, the, the Korea, uh, the, the uh, well, you know, aware of the environmental uh, problems that uh, have uh, accompanied uh, the successful uh, growth uh, campaign. Uh, as you know, uh, recently uh, 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 sh sh shifted its uh, development trajectory from what I might call brown growth paradigm to what the Korean government has been calling green growth uh, paradigm. And thus far, uh, on the whole, uh, we've been regarded sort of as a, as a, a model country uh, by uh, uh, other countries around the world and developing countries. And uh, developing countries want us to share our uh, new know-how of how to make this shift from brown growth paradigm to uh, green growth paradigm and the number of, uh, uh, of uh, what we can offer uh, for uh, the developing countries to help uh, them achieve sustainable development. And these are the reasons that Korea is often looked at as being a benchmark country for many emerging nations throughout the world. Right. You mentioned the projects that are being undertaken right now uh, as well. What are some of the challenges though 
that uh, SDSN and SDSN Korea are facing uh, in trying to promote the sustainable development solutions? I can name, you know, three challenges or obstacles in trying to achieve uh, and ensure sustainable development. One is what I might call uh, short terminism of governments and politicians. Uh, take the case of Korea. Uh, the government's uh, politicians all think of the future in terms of four to five uh, years of their current term. And uh, they can afford to think beyond that. So they are always focused on this short time horizon. Whereas this problem of sustainable development uh, can be discerned when you look long into the future, think about three to five decades ahead, then the problems and solutions emerge themselves, uh, manifest themselves. But because our you know, uh, time horizon is so limited, we fail to see that. So this short terminism is one common uh, problem, not just in Korea, everywhere around the world. And secondly, uh, the governments are departmentalized fragmented, ministers have their own portfolios, and, uh, uh, and also experts, also are experts in their respective fields, so that those whose thoughts matter uh, are accustomed to, think, to uh, thinking in silos, the silo mentalities. So we have to overcome this silo mentality, silo approach, but I do not exactly know how uh, you, you, know, you can do that. Other, well, except to say that I and my eminent colleagues have organized the SDSN uh, uh, Korea. And also, this is also the spirit behind launching the SDSN uh, under Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's initiative to uh, break through those silo depart, uh, uh, silos and to think in, how do I say, integral terms, uh, think about economic, social, and environmental dimensions together, uh, looking for uh, connections between them. These are some of the challenges you mentioned, yeah. and they're at a governmental level. You've also said before that companies need to take on a bigger role in promoting sustainable development. Why did you say that? Well, businesses are the backbone of economy. They are the engines of social progress when they do perform very you know, uh, nicely. They produce, they supply, uh, they employ, uh, so they generate people's income. Uh, and material uh, well-being, and actually they are responsible for the use of more than two-thirds of all the resources that, you know, that uh, human society uh, uh, uses. Uh, and, however, they uh, and their choice of technologies, their choice of man manage management uh, know-hows and practices uh, do matter. Uh, they affect the social development uh, and the environmental uh, dimensions uh, of the society. Uh, and so what, what they do, businesses, and how they do matter uh, very much, uh, one way or another. And uh, they, uh, in that way, uh, sh as a result, uh, have, uh, sh should be uh, responsible for what their actions and activities do to the rest of the economy. In other words, uh, they should be uh, conscious of their so-called co uh, corporate social responsibility. But more often than not, uh, businesses are, are rather, are not fully well aware of those uh, social responsibilities. So uh, uh, they uh, are engaged, they often get engaged in irresponsible environmental practices, uh, they uh, undertake anti-competitive behaviors, they exploit uh, uh, the small and medium enterprises whose bargaining power is weak, uh, they avoid evade the taxes, uh, they're engaged in, in, in corrupt practices. Uh, uh, and, and so these are uh, some examples of irresponsible corporate uh, uh, behavior. Uh, and. Uh, uh, and, but all those irresponsible or unethical uh, uh, practices undermine the very basis of sustainable development. And so, uh, so I think I say that the, the business sector uh, uh, plays a very important, actually, uh, uh, pivotal role in, uh, in bringing the society onto uh, the uh, path of sustainable uh, development. 
And with all of this in mind and with the goals in mind, uh, SDS in Korea has proposed a number of cooperative projects with international organizations. Tell us a little bit about uh, the, the projects that are being proposed and, and what projects you would like to see down mm -hmm. the line uh, take, uh, take uh, fruit. SDS in Korea, as I said, is the Korean chapter of the Get Global Network. And therefore, uh, to be effective, uh, SDSN Korea should engage its members in active international discussions and collaborations in search of uh, identification of problems to be addressed and in search of specific uh, uh, solutions. And uh, that requires uh, very extensive network international collaborations and Korea being well known as a dynamic innovator with the successful experiences of having deployed technological solutions to various uh, problems uh, of uh, development in the past. Uh, and especially uh, recently, uh, we've been effectively uh, leading the campaign for global uh, green growth. Uh, and more recently, uh, and our new uh, uh, government of President uh, Park Geun-hye uh, has been developing what uh, President Park calls the creative economy uh, framework to uh, address and solve many of the problems that uh, Korea uh, faces. And as far as I can see, the, 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 the most important component I, uh, of the creative economy approach is to propose to uh, engage uh, use um, advanced technologies, including the information and, and the communication technology, uh, in order to uh, solve uh, environmental and social problems, and also uh, promoting the uh, necessary uh, social uh, and institutional reforms and innovation uh, as well. And uh, this SDSN Korea would like to uh, play a leading and inspirational role uh, in uh, pushing the technology-based solutions to the problems of development uh, within that framework and spirit of uh, a creative economy. And we hope that uh, we can uh, uh, inspire uh, other, our international counterparts, uh, uh, to uh, work with us uh, on this uh, path. At the Asia Europe Environment Forum, experts from a variety of fields in the environmental and industrial fields participated and discussed ways to better promote sustainable economic development. We would like to contribute to a consensus between Asian and European countries on what should be the future regarding economic development, regarding social development, and regarding environmental protection. Dr. Young Soo Kil delivered a keynote speech at the forum under the theme of green growth and sustainable development for future societies. We hear more about ways to promote sustainable green growth from Dr. Young. You recently participated in the Asia-Europe Environment Forum where green growth mm -hmm. and sustainable development were, uh, were uh, the topics of discussion. What was the aim of that forum? What did you take away from it? ASEM Environment Forum, uh, which is about already 10 years old or so, uh, focused this year on the goal of discussing how ASEM countries, countries of Europe and Asia, uh, can uh, contribute to the uh, to the UN process of uh, developing the sustainable development goals as well as the post 2015 uh, development uh, agenda on the whole this ASEM environment forum its main purpose i think is to help the uh, asian developing countries uh, facilitate or accelerate their uh, what is called eco innovation and this eco-innovation, the idea of eco-innovation was actually uh, uh, proposed by the Korean Small and Medium Business Administration 
at an ASEM Somalia Medium Enterprise uh, uh, ministerial meeting that was held in 2010 in Seoul. And I happened to play the role of chairing the whole process at the time. And, uh, and I, at the request of Korean Somalia Medium Business Administration, uh, I helped that conference uh, to agree to the idea of launching or creating uh, what the Korean government called uh, ASEM Eco Innovation Center. Now, developing an index is very crucial in trying to achieve something. If you cannot measure the progress, you cannot make the progress, and having an effective and tangible indicator is the first step in making progress toward it. And I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised, that this, uh, uh, the, the ASEC based in Seoul uh, has been successful in uh, formulating the, uh, that index uh, called Eco Innovation Index. Of course, this constitutes only the first step. They have a lot of work to do further in order to elaborate and deploy that index, but they have uh, launched a good start. And this is one example in which uh, uh, Asia-Europe uh, uh, cooperation in environmental area uh, pay, can pay off. SDS in Korea is uh, a newly launched organization, still in its very early stages. What is the long-term goal as you see it? Help Korea achieve sustainable development and to contribute to the global cooperation uh, to make uh, global sustainable development uh, possible. And uh, by the way, uh, Secretary General uh, Pan Ki-moon uh, wanted to attend that inaugural conference of SDSN conference held uh, uh, in October, but he sent a congratulatory uh, a message. And in that message, he said that, uh, uh, you know, Korea has a very uh, uh, special uh, role and agenda for contribution to uh, uh, global sustainable development as a country uh, which has a, by and large, successful development experiences uh, and, and is still uh, enjoys uh, uh, this uh, entrepreneurial, uh, innovative uh, culture, uh, and a large segment of Korean population is now uh, inspire uh, cons uh, the the, the uh, uh, aspires uh, to uh, uh, contribute to the alleviation of difficulties in uh, low-income countries uh, such as those in in Africa. And you know there is such a huge proliferation of uh, private uh, non-governmental uh, organizations who are actively engaged in efforts to help uh, those uh, less privileged countries around the world. And uh, uh, so I think Secretary General uh, Pan Ki Moon uh, well identified uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, potential of the uh, Koreans uh, the. Uh, the Koreans in general uh, to play a leading role in working toward global sustainable development. These are the challenges, Dr. Young. We appreciate you coming by to tell us a little bit about the solutions that are down the line. Thank you very much for taking time to speak with us today. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time after 10.